Lake's environmental software's powerful tile maps feature makes it easier than ever to load high-resolution global base map imagery into your air dispersion modeling projects. A raster map is a collection of individual image tiles joined seamlessly to form a single map display. Tiles are oriented in a pyramid configuration, with a different number of tiles at each zoomed-in level. The highest zoomed-out level can be a single low-resolution tile, with additional higher-resolution tiles added at each subsequent zoomed-in level. There are several major advantages to using tile maps. High-resolution imagery is available globally, with higher-resolution data being continuously updated. You can choose from different map types, aerial photography from satellites, or street maps. Tile maps are displayed rapidly, which greatly improves the user's experience. This is done by pre-rendering tiles with only new images needing to be drawn as the user pans across the map. Tile maps save time because the images are already geo-referenced to the display area, avoiding the cumbersome process of manually geo-referencing individual map images. Please note that an internet connection is required to load the maps from the central servers. Also, use of the tile maps feature is only available to users with a current maintenance agreement. If you need to renew your maintenance, contact our sales team at sales at weblakes.com. You can import tile maps in most Lakes environmental software applications, but for this video, I'll be using CalPuff View. Before tile maps can be imported, map projection settings for your project must be defined. This is typically done when setting up the project via the new project wizard. You can go to the view menu as shown here if you need to edit your settings. Once the projection is set, go to the Import Tile Maps menu option. By default, our products include three servers, OpenStreetMap and OpenCycleMap for street map images, and the brand new Lake Satellite Server for worldwide high-resolution satellite tile maps. We'll start with a street map option, OpenCycleMaps. To quickly import images, choose the server of interest from the Map Server drop-down menu and click OK. The globe icon and progress meter displayed in the corner indicate that tiles are loading. As you zoom in, higher resolution tiles will automatically fill in the display. You can import multiple map servers in one project. Next, we'll import the lake satellite layer. To edit the display settings for each server, select the layer from the Overlays tree view, right-click, and select Edit from the context menu. To display both servers at the same time, modify the transparency settings. Here, I'm making the street map layer more transparent. You can also extend the extents of the layer beyond the site domain boundary by including an offset value. Back in the Overlays tree view, select the Open Cycle Map layer and move it up so that it sits on top of the Lake Satellite layer. Now you can see both servers, the opaque satellite layer and the transparent street map. The high quality imagery makes it easy to place sources and draw buildings. Time isn't wasted trying to manually geo-reference base map imagery first. The maps also create an eye-catching display for showing model results and communicating with project stakeholders. To learn more about our products, visit our website, www.weblakes.com. Thank you for watching.